what's up guys welcome back today our booster box finally came in for temporal forces so you know that we're gonna open it here we go 36 packs of the newest scarlet and violet set temporal forces i am excited to see what we pull out of here um we have pulled some big hitters but you know there's there's so many in this set that we got a lot of, we got a long way to go so set that bad boy off to the side and we'll just we'll just get into it um i'm really looking forward to pulling something good out of here it does seem like you know we all we all know like what the pull rates from a booster box are and sometimes it can be a little discouraging boom first pack let's go grodel very nice very nice indeed followed up by the iron thorns man look at that cute card gorgeous um like i was saying you know we, we all know what the, the pull rate from the boxes are so it's definitely not your best bet um to pull certain things i guess uh i don't, I don't really know how i'm trying to explain this um the the randomization you know of opening single packs and booster bundles and three pack blisters definitely helps increase your odds um in pulling you know secret rares special illustration rares things along that nature right because you know like when when you get a booster box you're confined to usually one right one one is usually the uh, the minimum there but if you're searching for those art rares like we are i definitely think a booster box would be your best bet uh usually you know there's three of them guaranteed throughout so we've opened probably about 100 packs so far and i think we have maybe four or five art rares not including that one that we just pulled so um it definitely seems like it's been pretty difficult to pull those for some reason and i'm not i'm not sure why um the only other set that gave us difficulty like this oh bianca's devotion nice we didn't have that she's a little dinged up down there but man that's all right for a binder card gorgeous um the only other set that gave us trouble with art rares like that was paldea evolved so i'm not sure what's going on i'm not sure if we just had pretty bad luck uh when it comes to opening this set so far but for the art rares man it's it's been difficult for us and i'm i for the life of me i can't figure out why i i feel like we were a little spoiled with Haldane Fates, right? The baby shinies to take up that other slot, which now we have like the A spec cards. That, those don't seem to be as common as the, the shinies were. But it definitely feels like the hit rate in this this set is is a little bit lower than it used to be. Um, especially throughout the Scarlet the Scarlet and Violet era. Um Base set we had no problems. Paldea of all was was definitely rough. Um City and Flames was pretty good to us. Paradox Rift was... Mm, that one was actually a little difficult for us. We're still missing a couple of the chase cards in there. But yeah, this one seems to be following suit and uh, definitely making it making it tough. Making us work for it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Let's let's hope that we can keep pulling some heat out of this booster box. Um, you know, see if, see if they're worth it. I mean... Pokemon Center's got them up for like 150, 160 like they usually do. But, ooh, nice. Hero's Cape. Ace spec. Um, Pokemon Center's got them up, you know, for that price. But you can find them all around online for 99 to, I think, $105. They're they're readily available. Uh, it seems like not, not too many people really are really focused on this set. And honestly, a lot of the cards are cheap enough to where if you didn't want to open anything and but you still wanted a master set you could easily go out and buy it i haven't tallied it up but i'd say that right now you know we're still in the first week of everything being released i'd say right now for about six to seven hundred bucks you could probably buy the whole set um, and that's including you know the top five cards uh, 95 76 55 55 50 uh, that, that's that's including all those it doesn't seem to be a very high value set do we finally pulled a gengar while i'm yapping jeez man we opened so much and this is like only the only ex that we still didn't have 
for the the base set of of this set that's crazy but yeah i mean so for you know if you can find those booster boxes which we can for you know 100 bucks or so you can pretty much buy the whole set for six or seven booster boxes worth so i mean honestly that's something to keep in mind if that's just your main goal is to get the master set right um it would definitely be cheaper that way but i think this is a lot more fun opening the packs uh, <laughs> definitely probably not the most uh don't take my word for financial <laughs> financial responsibilities there but boom the chat tot dude that's a nice card dang what's behind it the flutter main see ya yes yeah, somebody was actually saying that this is like a uh, music like you could actually play this and it'll it'll You'll, you'll actually be making music, right? You know, not in just a literal sense. That is from something. I'm going to have to look it up now that I've... It's it's brought it back into my mind. That, yes, somebody said that those are actual notes and that you could play them and it would it would create music. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. I like that chat talk card. Dude, some of these art rares are just so cool in this set. Um, definitely think it's a slept on set. Shift tree. Oh, and a bramble gas. But man, as I'm talking, we're just moving along. It looks like there's only three more packs on the right side and then or on the left side, and then we'll be working on the right side. So here we go, man. We're just gonna keep keep going through this. Um Victini, Heatmore, and an Iron Valiant. So so far, actually not too bad, right? Including that A spec card. Just quite a few hits. Definitely seems to be a little bit better than the booster bundles that we've been opening. I'm not sure if anybody else has got their booster bundles from the Pokemon Center, but I do think it's kind of weird that everywhere that we've gotten booster bundles from that are non-Pokemon Center, they're all a different shape. They're all like a, they're all like a square box. They're not rectangular like the normal ones. I don't know if that's just like third third party packaging or I don't know man it's a little weird it's a little sus now that I've seen the Pokemon Center ones I don't <laughs> I don't like that the that the ones that we've been getting from GameStop Walmart um, from all these different places they're different from the ones that the Pokemon Center are putting out so uh, if you know anything about that man feel free drop it in the comments tell me I'm an idiot you know if you know the actual answer I, I would be rather interested in learning um, but yeah Thought that was I thought that was quite interesting when those came in with our booster box today. So that pack open like poop. Here we go. All right, Wiglet, C dot, Scream Tail, Great Tusk. Oh, Mr. Mime into the Iron Thorns. All right. Getting a little bit of a cold spell, I guess. I mean, they pull an EX that Maraidon, on, so it's not that's not too bad there. Um, oh, that sleepy ride she was cute. Sawsbuck, Meryl. Oh, and an Iron Leaves. Very nice. Let's see what we're gonna pull. Solosis, Iron Hands, and nothing. Alright, quick poll guys, let me know down below. Are we going to pull a Seeker Rare? Are we going to pull a Special Illustration Rare as our, as our, you know, chase card from this box? I'd be interested to see what you guys think. I'm going to go Secret Rare, not because I'm a Debbie Downer, but that's just what I... That's what I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Alright. Ramblin. Morty. Turtwig. Bolton. And a Drampa. Hmm. Quite a few EXs. I'm surprised that we've actually only pulled one Ace Spec card. We seem to pull quite a bit of those from... Uh, like random packs. I wonder if those are 
taking into account. Oh, nice, gorgeous. Mancino, followed up by the Maridon. Nice. Yeah, I wonder if those A spec cards are taken into consideration, uh, like most other things, right? You'll only get X number, X number of them per booster box. Roserade, Drillbur, Lycanroc, Ghastly, Roaring Moon, and a Mel Metal. All right. Meryl, Helgium, Colossal, Bronzong, Chatot, oh, and a Giraffe Evolution. Still can't believe they gave that thing an, an, an evolve form. That and freaking Dunsparce, bro. What were they thinking? Nuzleaf, Rockruff, Airy, Fortress, Carvana, and a Relicant. All right, come on. Let's get another Ace Spec card. Turtwig. Wiglet, Sandy Shocks, Wiglet again, Rabska, and a Macargo. Hmm. It's like eight more packs after this ish. Just burning through this box today. Shroomish, Charge a Bug, Iron Treads, Iron Valiant, Frost Moth. Hmm. Just as I was talking about it, the Dunspar shows up. Yeah. Mm, okay. C dot. Deerling. Sawsbuck. Oh, there we go. Awakened drum. This is one that I, I don't think we've pulled yet. So that is awesome. Nice. Awakening drum. Roserade. And a Coridon. All right, two ace spec cards pulled. I'm not sure if we had that first one, but I'm I'm like 99% sure we don't have the awakening drum. Um, I should probably keep a list on hand somewhere on one of these screens so that I know what we what we need when we pull it. Um, but yeah, not not too bad, honestly. Man, gotten quite a bit from this box so far. Still looking for that Seeker Rare or higher. Sharpedo, Keldeo, and a Sizor. I think out of everything that we pulled, uh, we still have yet to pull any gold, which is surprising. We we usually have a have a gold the gold finger, right? We usually do not struggle to pull gold, but so far we have had none. And I'm a ride on. Woof, man. There's nothing left in there. Final four. Let's go. Final four. Turtonator. Breloom. Mudsdale. Bramblin. Jungle. And a Whimsicott. All right. Talking about coming close, man. Down to the wire. Are we going to get anything out of here? Oh, an Exadrill. Very nice. Followed by a Relicanth. All right. Second to last pack. Second to last pack, guys. Eat more. Torcat. Jungle. Moon Pheasant. Rosalia, Dunsparce, and a Feraligator. All right, guys. Well, this is the last pack for today's opening. Remember, if you like what you saw, please leave a little like in the video. Leave a comment. Uh, consider subscribing. Everything you do really helps push us out there and uh, gain new audience. So we really do appreciate all of you. So here we go. Last pack. Let's see if our secret rare is in here. Hyper rare, special illustration rare. Um... You know, something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cottony, Carvana, Ekans, Turtwig, 
Full Metal Lab, Shaman, Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking, Ribombi, Great Tusk, and an Incineroar Full Art. Oh man, I don't want to say we got robbed because we got a lot of stuff in this box, but dang. All right, well, that's the way it goes. I appreciate all you. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.